Astral projection is a conscious, out-of-body experience that assumes the existence of consciousness, or soul, called astral body, which can travel outside the physical body throughout the universe. By leaving the physical body, the astral body can float and traverse across the world or observe the environment. Individuals who practice astral projection are aware of what's happening around them. The belief of astral projection as a real phenomenon, and not a fabrication of the mind, can even be supported by quantum physics, since as quantum physics suggests, everything is energy and we are all connected. Having that in mind, separating your consciousness from your physical body to explore the fourth dimension, the astral realm, is something absolutely possible. Astral projection gives you incredible freedom. During an astral projection, you can do absolutely everything you desire. Flying over the world, visiting friends and observing them, going back in time, communicating with higher frequency beings, and even having astral sex. The possibilities in the astral realm are limitless. Many people believe astral projection as the ultimate evidence of life after death and a solid proof for the hypothesis that other higher dimensions exist, and the fact that our consciousness is separate from our physical bodies and our life here on Earth is simply a small journey from an endless existence. Although many people struggle to achieve a successful astral projection, rest assured that absolutely everyone has this ability in them, and everyone can successfully achieve an astral projection. It's a matter of techniques and repetitions. There are various ways to have an astral project. Some techniques work for some people, while others don't. You should not give up if the first technique you tried doesn't work. Sometimes the reason why the practitioner can't perform an astral project is because of the person's nature. There are many ways to remove frustrations, which are usually one of the most common causes of unsuccessful projection. Be patient and you will definitely be able to do the astral project. Here are some of the best ways to practice astral projection. Monroe Technique The Monroe Technique requires you to relax mentally and physically. You have to enter the half-sleep or hypnagogic state. Focus on mental sensation instead of physical sensation to deepen this state. Take note of the presence of vibration in your surroundings and incur it in your physical body. Relax in the presence of this vibration. This will help you to gently jiggle your consciousness out of your physical body. Focus on leaving your limbs and torso. Do this one at a time. Focus on floating out of your body. Rope Technique The rope technique requires you to relax your physical body by picturing each muscle. From this form of relaxation, you have to enter a vibrational state. Think of a rope dangling above you and use your astral body to hold on to the rope with both hands. Start to climb the rope while imagining reaching the ceiling above you. Once you're aware of the exit of your physical body, you can explore the astral plane. Hammock Technique The hammock technique is not only a good relaxation exercise, but also an easy way to perform astral projection as it's based on simple relaxation and breathing techniques. Lie down and focus on the breathing process. Breathe at regular intervals. Your breathing should be deeper than usual. Hold your breath for a few seconds and depending on your degree of concentration, your body will begin to relax. Your mind will be clear from any interfering thoughts. Imagine yourself resting in a hammock as it sways from side to side. Allow your body to fall asleep but try to keep your mind awake. Continue this process until you can feel the vibrations, which are the main signs of the beginning of astral projection. 
You must be fully aware of these vibrations and the changes in their intensity. When you start to feel tingles, rapid heart rate, vibrations, and buzzing all over your body, you're just seconds from separating your astral body from your physical body. You will also begin hearing various waves, frequencies, and sounds from the astral dimension. Continue concentrating until the moment of complete separation, which is when you're able to see your physical body from above. Stretch Out Technique This technique is one of the easiest ways to separate your astral body from your physical one. It requires you to visualize your body stretching out in a certain way. You have to lie down and close your eyes. First, visualize your feet stretching out and becoming larger by a few inches. Once the image of your feet being stretched out is clear, you should stop and then let them go back to their usual size. Concentrate on your head and repeat the process. Go back to your feet again. Repeat the same process. Stretch your feet and head out more and more each time. Imagine them stretched out by a few feet and then envision yourself stretched out up to a point where you're able to fill up the entire room. You will feel like you're floating and separating from your physical body. Evidence and Experiments of Astral Projection as a Real Phenomenon Miss Z In 1966, Dr. Charles Theodore Tart invited a young astral projector known as Miss Z to join a series of experiments in the sleep lab of the University of California, Davis. The experiment lasted four days, wherein the projector tried to exit her physical body while being connected to different devices that evaluated her physiological conditions. It was done to identify a quasi-randomly produced five-digit number placed about 1.5 meters above her head. According to Miss Z, from Monday to Wednesday, she saw the clock while drifting out of her body. The devices displayed strange brainwave patterns during the times she stated. There was also no rapid eye movements observed. The projector recognized the target number on Wednesday night. The number was 25132. Stuart Harry. In 1977, Duke University's Stuart Harry and Robert Lyle Morris performed an inventive experiment. Harry stayed in University of California, Santa Barbara, and his body was connected to a series of physiological devices. The experiment's goal was to visit his two-month-old cat, Spirit, who was held in a cage and monitored by sensors at Duke University. They observed the sharp behavioral difference when Harry was astral projecting and near his cat. Spirit became calm and passive, as if it was feeling or seeing Harry. When Harry was not astral projecting, Spirit meowed 37 times and continuously tried to escape from the cage. Robert Allen Monroe Dr. Charles Theodore Tart studied Robert Allen Monroe between 1965 and 1966 in the Electroencephalographical Laboratory of the University of Virginia's School of Medicine. ECG EOG and EEG were used during the experiment. Monroe had to read a quasi-randomly created five-digit number on a shelf positioned two meters above the floor. He wasn't successful during the first seven nights. Monroe had two fleeting lateral projections on the eighth night of experiment. On the first lateral projection, he saw some strangers talking at an unidentified place at a distance. This couldn't be verified. However, on the second lateral projection, he correctly described the woman technician and the man who were just outside the room. The experiment discovered that his ocular movements were slower than in normal sleep. 
They observed the stage 1 brainwave pattern almost immediately after Monroe slept. This stage usually happens after 80 to 90 minutes of sleep without any dreams, so the event was extremely rare. Projective Field Projective Field, an experimental research project that focuses on OBE, brings dozens of individuals who practice astral projection together for a weekend of eight OBE attempts. Projective Field is led by Nancy Trivolato and Wagner Allegretti. The research will be completed once enough data is accumulated and a desirable number of out-of-body experiences allow them to make conclusive results. More research is needed regarding astral projection. However, the ultimate proof and understanding can only be achieved through a person's accumulation of personal out-of-body experiences. This includes sensing show awake and real it can feel, having out-of-body experiences at the same time with other people, making precise remote observations, and getting detailed information from the dead, which can be verified. Dangers of Astral Projection The risks of astral projection could deter people who are interested in astral projection. After all, separating from the physical body is not something that can be considered normal. Just like with anything new, people want to know if practicing astral projection will harm them in any way. Fearing the unknown, however, might be preventing them from experiencing something life-changing. It's good to do some research and know the pros and cons of what you are getting yourself into. Many people are concerned about death during astral travel as they believe that this practice poses additional risks to the body. What you need to remember is that a person having an out-of-body experience faces the same dangers that he may encounter in the physical world. In other words, astral projection doesn't harm the physical body or pose new risks in any way. Some astral projection practitioners believe that the silver cord, which links the soul to the body, can be cut by anyone who wants to interfere with the process. So far, there have been no recorded incidents of such event happening. Many people fear that the soul may not be able to return to the physical body when they do the astral projection. This is highly unlikely as the mind won't forget to return to the physical body no matter what happens. However, those who have pre-existing heart conditions should avoid practicing astral projection as the shock of finding their astral body outside of the physical body may be too much for them to take and may even trigger heart failure. This is why practitioners emphasize the fact that those who want to perform the astral project should be perfectly healthy and have no history of any heart condition. Possession of Evil Forces Evil and demonic forces can invade the physical body only when they're invited to do so. You don't need to worry about such forces when you're into astral projecting. For your peace of mind, you can seek protection from higher spiritual beings before you project your astral self. However, there are some real astral projection risks that you need to be aware of. One of these is the fact that there are various demonic entities and negative forces that dwell in the astral plane. These forces are particularly malicious. There have been reports of encounters with these malicious beings, but these encounters are rare among the higher planes. Since demonic forces dwell in the lower astral planes, Astral projection can be extremely straightforward and safe when done according to the right astral technique and under the supervision of a proper instructor. Astral projection is exciting and has its own pros and cons. Knowing and understanding what may go wrong will not only keep you safe, but also make the experience more fun. Using Astral Projection to Develop Psychic Abilities Many people think that psychic abilities are only reserved to gifted individuals. Clairvoyance or having the ability to see the future are rare occurrences, but having a gut feeling about something, or what we call intuition, happens more often. Intuition is a kind of psychic ability. Each one of us has a propensity for psychic ability. 
Children, in particular, have strong psychic abilities. The realities of the world, however, eventually take hold. Since psychic abilities are seen as abnormal in modern society, they're immediately ignored or dispelled from existence at a young age. Very few people ever get their psychic abilities back once they forget about it. As such, most people assume that they never had any psychic ability to begin with. People have innate psychic abilities and you can develop them if you want to. There are various ways to develop dormant psychic abilities and almost all of them require your willingness to exert effort. Conscious astral projection is one of these methods. Astral projection happens to each of us when we sleep at night. Since we're not conscious during sleep, we rarely remember these experiences. When we do, these experiences are usually described as astral projection dreams. As you become more in tune with your internal energy systems, you open more possibilities to improve psychic abilities like telepathy. Learning how to do astral projection in full consciousness will help you become more aware of when you're exploring the astral realms. This is one of the best ways to connect your conscious awareness to your dormant psychic abilities. Here are the benefits of using astral projection to improve your psychic ability. People who practice conscious astral travel report an increase in psychic abilities like intuition, auric sight, and clairvoyance. Astral projection allows you to realize your full potential. Through this experience, you realize that you're more than a physical being, and this helps you realize what you're really capable of. It also improves your spirituality. Many people find the whole out-of-body experience a spiritual event. They report a sense of being connected to something greater than themselves. Astral projection helps you develop an inner calmness, which translates to an ability to relax completely. This helps you sleep better at night. Inner calmness and increased spirituality improve one's respect for all forms of life, including humans and animals. Astral projection enhances imagination, intelligence, and memory recall. Through out-of-body experiences, certain parts of the brain that were previously untapped may become used. When you astral project, you recognize and experience past life influences. This experience allows you to open up and explore your subconscious mind. It also helps you overcome the fear of death. Once you explore the astral realm, you realize that your existence continues beyond your physical being. It also provides answers to questions that were previously unanswered. Astral projection allows you to directly access the subtle realms of energy and light. The best thing about it is that you do it subconsciously. The limited conscious exposure to these realms might be all you need to discover and improve your dormant psychic abilities. Conscious astral projection is not only an exciting experience, but also strengthens those links to psychic abilities that you may have ignored as a child. Through this experience, you're given a second chance to develop your natural gift during adulthood. Astral projection opens the door to discoveries and allows you to explore beyond the limits of your physical senses. You don't have to be a curious observer. Being an active explorer is more fun and useful. Each of us can travel on the astral plane, but most people fail as they can't tune their brainwaves into the correct frequency. You don't need to use special tools to learn how to do an astral project, but you can look for a seasoned practitioner to guide you. Learning astral projection may not be easy, but don't give up. If you fail on your first try, just do it again. Try and try until you succeed. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, and if you're new, hit subscribe and the bell next to it for future notifications.